Hey everyone, this is Julia, and today we will go over the main update of the Chatform Builder 3.3 version. And since we've added some new exciting features, make sure to stay tuned to the very end of this video. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell if you haven't done this yet. So now let's start with the most exciting feature of this release. Generating forms with OpenAI is now available with Jetform Builder 3.3. With the OpenAI integration, you can generate complex forms with various field types with a few clicks instead of adding every field manually. After that, you just need to tweak the field settings and configure other form options such as post-submit actions, style settings, etc. So once you updated the plugin to the 3.3 version, you will see this new button Generate with AI on top of the Forms page. The same button will be available on the Form Builder page and also in the new Welcome block. Once the button is clicked, a pop-up with the AI generator will appear. Currently, you can make 10 requests per month. So, in the text area, you can describe what form you want to create. For example, simple contact form. In addition, you will find tips for successful prompt writing and prompt examples. After you enter a prompt into the text area, the Generate button will appear, and after clicking it, the pop-up will show the form field preview. So, for the simple contact form request, OpenAI generated three simple fields for the name, email and message, and the submit button. If you are satisfied with the result, you can press the use this form button. If you are not, you can tap the change generation prompt button and rewrite the request. I'm gonna hit the change generation prompt button and expand the prompt. In the request, the form field and the action button can be described, so I will type this prompt. Contact form with name, email, subject, message, phone number, company name, website, and address field with the send email action button. It is advisable to mention all required fields in the prompt to avoid overlooking some in the final result. Also, be aware that the AI can only generate the form fields and action buttons. You cannot set the post-submit actions and advanced form validation. In the new preview, OpenAI generated all the mentioned fields and the action button with the send email label. After hitting the use this form button, you will get two options. Replace or append form settings and blocks. I will choose the replace option so the form fields and the action button replace the welcome block. Be aware that certain fields have the required option activated. You can modify this and other settings individually for each form field block. The most exciting part of this feature is that there is no limit to the form variations. You need a quiz form? Just write a good prompt and here you go. Here is how OpenAI generated a quiz form with 5 questions with choices about math. Do you have a hotel booking website and you need a feedback form? Not a problem. OpenAI will automatically add even a rating field. Also, how about the hotel room reservation form? As you can see, the form was generated with the check-in, check-out date field and even the room type and the number of guests fields. Isn't it amazing? Moreover, OpenAI generates not only the survey or quiz form, but also the questions with answer variants and all that can be done with just a simple prompt. And now let's take a detailed look at the new welcome block. We changed the previous default block that looked like this into the new welcome block. 
It will be displayed by default whenever a new form builder is opened, and it can be also added with the help of the block inserter. Using this block, you can quickly add the following patterns. Contact form, feedback, a newsletter sign-up form, insert post, register user, PayPal donation, reset password, a user login, and generate via AI. Some of the patterns may not be available since you needed to have a Pro plugins version. So these patterns are fully customizable, which means that the field can be added, edited, and deleted freely within any selected preset. The form can also be set manually. So to create a fully custom one, you just have to press the Start from Scratch button right here. In the Welcome block, there is also the Save Form Records toggle available and it is activated by default. This toggle adds the Save Form Record post submit action to the form to store all the form submissions in the database. As for the patterns, you might have seen some of them right here. However, with the welcome block patterns, you also get the needed post-submit actions already set for you. Now, creating forms is as easy as never before. Just pick a pattern, for example, register user, click on it, and post-submit actions are already set up. You can adjust them depending on your needs and you're good to publish the form. Form verification by the admin. The verification action allows verifying the user's email before processing other post-submit actions. The form will send an email with a confirmation link to the address entered by the user. After the user allows the confirmation link, the verification is completed and the form is submitted successfully. With the JetForm Builder 3.3, you will be able to add a form verification by the administrator. So once you create a form, you will need to set the post-submit action, which is called a verification. The action settings allow you to choose who can verify the submission user and administrator, or administrator only. To verify the submission from the dashboard, you just need to proceed to the form records, where you will find the submitted forms and see their status. This new one has a waiting verification status, and once you hover over the record, you just have to click verify manually right here. The form status will change accordingly. From now on, you can create some amazing content toggle sections in your forms by using the new switcher field block. You will be able to add the switcher to login, sign up, and other forms where binary choices are favored and allow users to enable or disable certain options. Form validation is the process when users enter data and the browser and or the web server will check to see that the data is in the correct format and within the constraints set by the program. In the previous versions of the JetForm Builder plugin, the field value validation with the advanced rules was performed only in the browser. However, with the 3.3 version, the data will be checked on the server as well, increasing the validation reliability. So these are all the incredible features of this release. Make sure to update your plugin to start creating forms even faster, generating them with AI, and also enjoying the rest of the features. This will be it for today's overview. We would love to hear your thoughts, so don't forget to leave your comments down below and also like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.